Go ahead. Go ahead. May mga mic na po kayo. Anyone? Um, matanda na ako eh. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm set in my ways and in my beliefs. Um, although it is the artist's responsibility, especially if his purpose is to communicate, is to be aware of the audience that he's communicating to. No? So, for example, if we're doing theater, and let's say, for example, if we're doing theater for children, Okay, so there are some limitations in terms of what you can do and what you can say because there are some realities with children. There are things that you should not do. In fact, legally, you're not allowed to do. So those are among the things that you have to consider. There are certain laws that you have to consider. So in, in that way, you have to be aware whether you are still able to communicate or not. Because if you, if you break a law, then there's no point in being able to communicate anymore. So you have to fall within that. But at the same time, you have to be aware of what you want to communicate. So in, in short, I think that the idea is that if there is something that you want to communicate through your art, then by all means communicate it. But be aware of the audience, be aware of the culture, be aware of the environment that you're in, if you want to continue communicating. Yeah, I guess, um, I guess I'm not an artist, I'm a curator. Usually I, I encounter this, but like I probably consciously make a decision which type of artist to choose depending on where I'm presenting the work. Like what Dan said, like you have to really consider the audience and the country where you're in. For me, because I work in different places, like so I'm very I try to be aware and I work closely with the partners in understanding who and way we need boy and not. So for example, like in Singapore recent project that we have. I mean, it's not necessarily casual culture, but like there's um, a lot of issues presenting performance art, for instance. Isa siyang kinakatakuta na, na art form kasi hindi mo siya masyado makontrol. And I was presenting a work by uh, Lilibeth Cueca Rasmus and Evoy. And it's a tw 12 reenactment of like works from 1968 until the present. So parang nagbabasan ng history book. And then it was a launch for an art history um, course. They wanted to, they're doing art history in Southeast Asia. So I thought of presenting this right thing. But we encountered like a lot of issues uh, in terms of um, staging the work. Because they were afraid that there would be nudity or there would be some sensitive things uh, that would be dealt with or like uh, insinuated in the piece. But what we, how we addressed it was that um, Binabala in accordance, it was supposed to be presented in a um, glass um, gallery, so all the curtains went down and there was like an advisory. So there are like ways to mitigate um, certain things, like if the artist really wants to push forward an idea, I think as long as this person is authentic and clear in their mind, like what they really want to do, I think that we should really support and not be afraid of cancel culture. You, you'll never be able to please everybody to begin with. So. Okay. Thank you.